name is Sean O'Boyle and I'm a Human Resource Associate and I work for Glombia. I had a good understanding of what Glombia was about, you know, they have a strong roots in working with farmers, co-ops, dairies and creameries and that's something I have a connection with as well. I come from a small farming background, I felt initially I was very aligned on what they were offering. It was kind of exactly what I was looking for. My initial interaction, you know, with the graduate team through the career events at the likes of NUIG and also my initial you know, understanding of the Glombia graduate webpage. I was looking for you know, a two-year rotation program which gave me a broad understanding into the different areas of human resources and that's exactly what Columbia are offering. The first area that I was able to have an idea and look at you know, where I could develop was managing numerous stakeholders expectations. Uh, in college you, know, you really only have maybe yourself to look after and you know, getting the grades you want and maybe a couple of teams as well but moving into the world of work and in, in with Glombia you know, you're giving an awful lot of opportunities to work with different teams. At the same time though you have a lot of different workloads as well so it was about managing those expectations of you know because everybody's work is important but you would have to you know, have that communication with them, you know, obviously tell them, look, I have another number of different priorities, and you'd have to manage them and talk to them, you know, you've only a certain amount of hours in the day. For me then, moving on from that, it would be you know, managing my own expectations. I think you know, millennials are drawn out to be these people that we're gonna change the world and we're gonna know everything coming into the company. And I think from college, you kind of get that feeling, you know, if you don't know the problem, it's about going off yourself, finding the answer, you know, reading as much literature if you have to, um, and coming about and finding that answer yourself and you know getting those instant gratification results and stuff but if you come into the world of work you know at times you're not actually going to know the answer at times there might not even be an answer so you're going to have to go about that process of learning trying to find out if you can actually solve the problem and if not you know accepting that as well graduate program and I suppose it's another reason why I chose it, it does offer you I suppose, a series of different training and skilling skills uh, to learn. Um, so just off the top of my head a few of them was the likes of presentation skills which is something I found very beneficial because the, in the role I work you know I have numerous meetings, I have inductions and you have that opportunity to talk and you need to I suppose know how to speak and in a, in a manner that's clear. Uh, there's one or two other I suppose opportunities that they offer you as well, the likes of Excel, I would be the most strong I suppose to go through that as well um, and just giving you the basic understandings of Excel as well was brilliant. Um, Glombia and they understand that innovation and I suppose finding a better way is crucial to our success and what they understand is the graduates and associates are going to be key to that success in the future and they're going to be the ones coming up with those innovative ideas. So the graduate program has kind of lent, learnt on from that and built into it. Um, how can we go about you know, empowering our graduates to think innovatively and come up with solutions and what they've done in terms of our graduate program training is brought in uh, Spark and what Spark is, it's a design thinking experience. Spark is the a two day, two and a half day event for for graduates, who, and we come together and senior business leaders from around the company, from the U.S. and to Ireland, come into the event with us. They present real life case problems to us and they ask us to solve it. So what we go about doing is we come together as graduates in a team, we try to understand the problem, we try to dismantle the problem and ultimately we try to come you know, up with a solution as well. What it ultimately accumulates in is presenting those solutions back to those senior leaders. Um, and from my own experience um, I had the opportunity to do that and I was fortunate enough to be on one of the teams that now actually have the opportunity to present to Siobhan Talbot who's our managing director which is you know, a huge opportunity for a graduate that's just come in the door to present to the, the MD of a company. So the three main benefits that I found from Spark was innovation, uh, focusing on the user experience and you know, working in a diverse team. You know, the role I'm in, which is in human resources, I suppose, innovation, it's not at the top tier, I suppose, or the most prominent. So for us to think differently and think outside the box and not to accept the norm, because I suppose we're always looking at maybe legislation or you know, what are the policies. And sometimes it's not about you know, what's in place, it's looking at it and can we do better. Most events when you come together with your graduates in a social perspective, you know, it's training mainly individual. What this program and design thinking offered for us in SPEC, it offered us to come together to work as a team. So I was in a team you know, with a food scientist, an agribusiness manager, another food scientist, 
scientist and a girl who was an engineer. You know, you, you really wouldn't have that opportunity ever, I suppose, in my role. For me, it's thinking about the user. It's really trying to understand exactly, you know, what is the problem? What exactly are they feeling? You know, emotions, thinking. And then, you know, spending 90% of your time understanding that and maybe 5% of your time coming up with the solution in the detail. I was talking to a graduate, there'd be two main pieces of advice that I would give to them. It's firstly, you know, undertake a work placement or, or a, a summer internship. And the second would be to, you know, talk, learn, read and get more information on the graduate programs, doing your research, you know, talking to you know, career development centres that I feel have huge benefit to them and is a free resource to students. Uh, the first was, you know, an, in, an, a thorough introduction to the organisation, you know, meeting senior leaders on our first couple of days at work. Um, you know, following on from that, they have an awful lot of training put in place for you to, you know, to get up to speed quickly if you feel your skills aren't good enough, you know, like Microsoft Excel training, presentation skills, and, you know, the Spark Innovation, which, you know, Spark, I suppose, sparks your innovation and curiosity and mindset and looking at innovative solutions. Um, I suppose I was fortunate enough as well to have the opportunity to do coaching, and all graduates would do as well through Spark. So through that two and a half day event, you're actually given two coaches, and they're actually from, you know, d diverse areas that you might not have worked with. So in my example, I had someone from food science, and I had a girl from internal audit helping us coach through the problem. So we were able to go a bit further with our problem, then talk to the two guys, kind of get their feeling on it and they would give you some sort of guidance maybe yes maybe no have you thought about this and also I suppose I've had the opportunity to actually have coaching as well over four or five weeks as well so it's helped me think about you know where I am now identify you know where do I need to develop where do I see myself maybe in two or three years in the company and where do I see myself in five years and it can even be simpler things just like your work-life balance as well.